I of course very honored to be able to give a lecture on strategy to Cisco. Cisco is a very well-known company and I think you are the finest company America has so far produced and that is not so high profile and you know maintain the right presence in the market. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start by being very basic. You say, ah, I, I plan all this without knowing you. Right? And of course in life the most precious thing is time. So since you are here with your time, I'd like to know right, what, what questions before I start the lecture you want me to discuss and answer about strategy in relation to other war, in relation to China and, uh, and all that. Right? So what I do is usually I, I invite questions first so that I can then try and adapt my presentation to go around the issues that concern you. Right? So can we start? Anybody any questions about other war? Very simple questions. I'll just listen down. I will promise I answer all, but I will try my best during my present as I go through the presentation to deal with issues you raise. Yes. Is it the right strategy to go, you know, on head uh, with the competition in front of customers, or you know, be uh, protective, or uh, I mean, what is the right strategy okay. in Good. today's in current scenario, and especially the uh, in the technology field? Okay, right strategy, technology. So, very good question, and uh, very good question. I'll comment on that. Very good. Any other question? Yes. Um, when you have to a last-minute situation where um, you have very limited time and not enough information about your competitors' moves, uh, uh, you like to have more uh, things, know, know what to do with that kind of thing. Okay. Right. This is very, very, very good question too. Right. It's about having partial information. Right. And of course, partial is, is a matter of degree, 0% to 100%. You know? So, you're talking a situation where you have 0% information, what do you do? Right? You have 50%, do you spend more time getting more information or do you get less information? Do you, how do you yeah. action in re, you know, what do you call the uh, right? so risk, essentially, risk return question. Right? The degree of risk in information. Very good. Uh, the media, I've got another one now. Yes. Where the customer is 100%. You know the customer is not a favor of yours. They then they totally shift towards the competitor. There were a let's say Cisco loyal customer, but then at the end, really late and, and almost closing the uh, bit, you find out that they uh, change the game and uh, they become your competitor for your customer. They believe in your customer. I mean they believe in your competitor. The customer stealing by competitor, right? Would I put it that way? They steal away a customer, right? Yeah. And the question of customer loyalty, right? And some of these questions, now I, I will uh, be honest with some of these questions, right? I don't, as soon as I do I deal with maybe about 10 percent of my publications. 90 percent is really on management. So things like this, I cover them under, I teach engineering student master's degree course on uh, my customer. Right. In fact, I brought, I brought the CD in case I would have to deal with this sort of issue. Right. Very important. The whole, the whole game is different now. Right. In the past, it used to be pushed. You supply and you have a chain to supply that. No, now no more. Now you've got to pull. Right. The push and pull is different. So like, in this part, I may have to deviate from to answer you fully on this. Right. This other war is written in a way that there is no customer. As far as the other world is concerned, the customer is the better ground. You've got to know the ground so well. You must segment the market. Nine different type of ground. Each ground, different strategy. Right. So like, like what you've done, and this is what I've done correctly, you're trying to map India and China as one territory. Japan is outside the loop. Japan is not a developed country. Right. So strategy, right, in relation to ground. But I will give you that. That's a very good question. It's a very, very important question. Right. Customer loyalty. And I can tell you about all customers. There's only one thing about customers. They like three things. <laughs> right? Rene, I was in Rene, you know, I was, I, I, I was in Sweden, I, and Rene boss was telling me that, um, I'm not telling you, in the in interview, right? I, I was in aeroplane, I read it. And Rene boss says that, you know, actually airlines should fly customers for free. Right? And how do you make money then? It's from the services. But the intent to convert the airline to you know, a casino where they gamble and they hope that from the gambling revenue it will be enough to pay for the airline. So, so please, the competition is very cute. 
Microsoft realized that already. It's, you're not going to, right? But that, that again, is technology related strategy question. Right? Good. Any other, any other question? Right. Yeah, there's, there's, I think saying that uh, my enemy is my friend. Yes. Is that a, I mean, is that a valid strategy on the concerns me at times that we actually end the relationship purely on that basis? All right, now, right or wrong, okay, let me write down the question. I'm, I'll, I'll take note of all these questions you have raised. This is very important to me. Right, so you're saying the philosophy that... My enemies, enemies. Okay, uh, your enemies... Enemies. Enemy is... My friend. Is my friend. Okay, now. This I'll quote Chinese history. The last Ming emperor says this, huh? In Chinese, it was a theorem. Meaning to say that right, my enemy's enemy is my benefactor, more than just friend. You know? Because that means that he be like, my enemy got an enemy that's beautiful. He commits his sources as unrun. Unrun meaning not to be unrun. Right. right. The problem with Sun's out of war, I, let me explain, there are a lot of translations out of war, and yet because the Chinese language is people ground. Right. It's pictograph. That's why it's so hard to understand Sun Tzu without knowing Chinese. Pictograph means it's a picture. The picture conveys a lot of meaning. Right? But it's a good question you raise. And that's our strategy. You should, you should look into it. Right, good. Any more? I saw some hands been raised. Yes. Is it always uh, keeping, you know, with this war spirit is the only way to survive? Is it what? Sorry? I mean, keeping always in the war spirit, right? The only way to survive? Okay, right. It's, it's war the only way. <laughs> right. Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's be friends. Let's collaborate. <laughs> okay, I, I tell I was asked this question when I, I was in Sri Lanka last year. Right here in Boston uh, asked me to speak to Indian SEALs, the top SEALs, and the very rich Indian SEALs. And they are very concerned. Right? They say that, why must we have war? Why can't we have and peace, why should peace be the only way? So I, I put that into a paper, I will send that to you for you to read. That's a very good question. It's war the only way. And there is this 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 topic has been right, one that has been the, the basis of a best selling book now. It's called Blue Ocean Strategy. Right, Blue Ocean Strategy. Meaning to say that right, according to two professors from INSEAD, the way to do this is to find don't go to Red Ocean, get out of Red Ocean, go to Blue Ocean. But I, I think that's a myth, personally. That's why in my, in my strategy course that I'm doing, where I discuss about pur purplish, that community is purple. It's not really red, it's not really blue, but it's purple. The myth each other too. But the moment there is blue ocean, everybody rushes in. Right? So if, and of course, easier said than done. Look at Sony. I and mean, Sony, one of the companies I'm so proud of. I was at uh, Kokase Sansei in Japan. Six months there, and I was, you know, visiting a oh, top Japanese company in the 80s. And you say, oh, Sony, it's very hard to beat this company. But Sony becomes Sony. Why they can't produce any money for that? So this is the real fundamental problem. Can you sustain? All right, it's the three phases of strategy: the rise, sustenance, and then the fall. Right? How to sustain it? Right? And that is where deep thinking in strategy is necessary. Like the Hitler regime, right? Beginning when they first started to go, when Hitler first planned the strategy, it was like just like no, Europe was dominated, no problem. But he couldn't sustain it. Hitler couldn't sustain it. Right? And then of course, you know, the, right, the rise, the sustaining, you know, the fall.
But very important question again, right? These are all key issues. These are covering issues. Anyone? Yes. I want to know if the techniques that uh, we've discussed today can be applied to our daily life. Saying, how can I get a raise with my boss? Oh, no. Hola, <laughs> 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 Very good question. Now, okay, now I, I will explain to you, Armor War has been used for all sorts of things. And a model of the book that will probably sell very well if I, if I do work on it, because I'm honorary professor at St. Andrews, where they play golf. Right? It's Armor War being used for golf. Right? And golf and strategy is very closely related. So the technique is essentially applicable, but my focus here is just not just the other war, but really focusing it on the competitive situation you know, that technology companies have to focus on. Right? But this is the second time uh, Cisco's person asked me about getting a raise. You know? Last night somebody asked me the same question, but I'm not with you who, you know. <laughs> right, but you, 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 I can show you are you're paid above market rate, right? Market rate, yeah. Okay, good. Next, any more questions? Before I, when it's filled up, I will not ask any more questions. <laughs> Yes, Ms. Watson. The question is, um, um, following on the stronghold, how can we attack the stronghold and even, I mean, the stronghold, is, I guess the stronghold will come about China, power is very strong in China, and um, is there a way that we can attack? Yeah, okay, this is a very interesting question too. Right, a stronghold like China. Now, I will definitely tell you that I will start by, right, I think, rightly to, on updating. This part was supposed to be in August, right, so every... You know, this all talk, if I had to talk in March, I would say a different thing. I'll focus on different things, slightly different. Right? This point is very important because you are so huge. Cisco is so huge. You are like a mini US company. Right? And China and Huawei is the mini China. So inevitably, this is China US conflict. Or what I saw in the inverted commas, right? Would Feel over. So I will discuss that in a broad context. Very good question. How do you attack strongholds? How do you penetrate a market like China? Good. Any other questions? Please. Uh, how do we break dark of war? Break? Yes. Yeah, if we're both using dark of war against each other, what makes us different? Okay. Very, very good question. It's a very deep question. I've never been asked this question right before. <laughs> until I've done a seminar for a top CEO, you know, where they are all datos, you know, and all come with, you know, all multi-millionaires. And that question has been raised. Right, now the fundamental point really is, is inside Suns other world. Suns tells you the most important fundamental point, and I will discuss that in my lecture. Good. Right. Right. Um, if if the our current competition or one of them has the uh, art of war as part of their history, yes. basically the Chinese that we're fighting against. Yes. Some of us are foreigners here, and a large portion of our company is foreigners. Can we can we learn the techniques better to fight the people that are ingrained in their system? Okay. Right. Ingrained. Right. Ingrained. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good. Good. Very good point. I will, I will try and cover that point in my in my delivery too. Right? The question of other war thinking and why is you see in Europe, you Europeans know less far less about other war. Yeah, they are, they, are, they mainly focus on close with, you know, and, and the right and the Russian strategy. Less so than out of war. In America, it is the E thing, it is the hot thing. And I explain the background to why other war became important and so on and so forth. Good. Right. Last question, maybe, so I can get, get going with the lecture proper. Anybody yeah. has any questions? Anyone? Any, any question at all? That, that troubles you, you know, and you, yes. I guess, um, you know, um, I think we've mentioned this before, but uh, I'd like to pass this here. So, I mean, we have got, from the Western um, school of thought, we have got like Porters, Michael Porters, you know, the yeah. Porters and the Four Corners. Yeah. Um, how can we integrate both? Okay. Or is it, um, 
Or what about called the MBA school? Huh? It's MBA school of thinking. MBA school of strategy, right? In other words, all the Ansh Hoff, there are a lot of gurus in, in the, you know, Prahala and, you know, right? US, the US MBA model. Okay, good. Then the question of integration. 